Hi Aquarius, welcome to your second reading for April. Aquarius, do not panic if you're watching this after April. There may be a nugget, a message in here for you, okay? These readings are timeless. It's just that I do two a month. Um, I call them my Zodiac Taroscope readings. All right, for each sign. So the other thing that I'd like you to know, if you are new here too, is that this can be for Aquarius Sun, Aquarius Moon, Aquarius Rising, or Venus in Aquarius. The Venus in Aquarius would be you looking at the reading from a relationship or love perspective, okay? So let's get right into this. These are short and sweet. Um, I'm planning. I've been telling every sign. So if you're watching for more than one, I, I apologize that you have to hear this, but uh, not everyone does. So I'm doing a last minute uh, road trip down into the U.S. for two to three weeks, okay? And I procrastinated and I didn't get my longer readings done. So I thought, you know what? I don't wanna leave them without any. I wanna get the second reading done. I'm gonna do a little short sweet. That's what I'm gonna end up calling this. And there's just some questions. We're gonna answer them, get right to the point and move on. All right, uh, Aquarius, I think you'll appreciate this in some way. So. What energy is or will be coming in and around you? We always have energies coming in and around people, events, situations, scenarios, right? Changing things up in our life. Sometimes good, sometimes bad. But the fact is, it's always happening. So if it's happening right now, then look, you may, um, this could be advice guidance for you. If it comes up later on, then this could be, um, a heads up okay so let's just get the card what energy retreat mm. so what is it that may be coming up or is happening right now for you Aquarius where you need a little time out okay or it could even be where you need to pull back all right is it a situation or event maybe that you're in right now or that may come up that's going to have you going whoa this isn't me i'm not getting involved in this this isn't my you know not my circus not my monkeys and you need to retreat back or again is this something that maybe you need to just take a break let's let's get a tarot here look um you know what i wasn't ready for that i'm not ready for that one yet okay it just doesn't feel like it's the right one so seven of cups there we go maybe for some of you there are going to be choices that need to be made you may need to step back in a situation okay or again with a person whatever it is there there's there's a lot of choices and maybe you're not sure what the right choice is that you can quickly make a decision. You may need to retreat. You may need to step back, okay? Um, another situation could be where you are, something comes up and again, the amount of choices is, how can I say it? There are so many choices, but I almost, I, it's almost as contradictory. There are so many choices, but none of them are the right one, okay? Like there's there's a difference between there's a bunch of choices and you need to, to make the right one or all of the choices in front of you, not one of them is right, okay? I hope that makes sense. Uh, sometimes I'm a little tongue-tied in the way, or not tongue-tied, but um, to, to get it out properly, it may require you to step back for a moment either way, whether it's great, you love all the choices, now you just need to choose one, or you're looking at all of them and you're like, not one of these is right for me. I feel like it could be either scenario for you, okay? It could be something that's happening right now. Again, this could be something that is going to be coming up for you. So just remember when this happens, either way, take a step back for a minute, okay? Take a step back because, um, you, you may need some time to choose that, that perfect one, or you may need to retreat because again, not my circus, not my monkeys. None of these are right choices. We need to revisit this in some way.
Okay, I almost feel like a retrograde, right? Retreat, um, revisit. Okay, so again, different people here watching this, uh, Aquarius, different Aquariuses, so different planet placements, right? So what I want to say is, you know, it, it could be one or the other, I really feel in this particular situation. Now, what do you need to be aware of to help you navigate this energy? We kind of talked about it again. It's it's retreating in whatever way that is for you, for whatever reason, right? <clears throat> but let's see what else. Spirit. And when I say spirit, God, source, universe, whomever it is for you, okay? I go through these readings as though I have new people watching all the time. So I, I do repeat myself. I'm Archangel Fanuel. Oh, I've never heard of that Archangel before. But what we have here is... Hope, optimism, new beginnings. Okay, there is there is the energy that's going to help you navigate this. Is regardless of whether there's so many great ones and you just can't decide, or you look at them and you're like, none of them are good. I'm not. I'm going to back away. There's a reason that is happening, and it's a new beginning that's going to be coming in. Okay, they want you to remain hopeful. They want you to remain optimistic, okay, because there is something new. Now, I, I don't know why in this one, Aquarius, I feel like I keep needing to go back and forth with it. Whatever the situation is, A or B, that I already explained, it, it brings a new beginning for you, okay? And that is the important message here. That That is what I almost feel like the outcome is, okay? Even though that isn't one of the questions. Look, the Hermit card. Seriously, that just dropped out. I love this because the Hermit is going within, figuring things out, going to pull that inner knowledge, that inner wisdom, okay, from yourself. You have a higher self. It's your soul, right? If we want to think of it as your soul, it's the Holy Spirit. If you want to think of it that way in a religious way, but we have a higher self and we can connect to that higher self and with spirit, okay, and get the answers that we need. But the, one of the big things is we, we have those answers within. It's just whether or not we can go in and get it. And if we can't ourselves, then we ask for help from spirit, right? To help us make this decision. Um, or, you know, there's no good decision. So what's next, spirit? Like, I know you're telling me there's a new beginning here, but how does that happen for me? Can you please shine a light on it for me to help me move through this? I feel like, again, with the two, there's choices here, right? I feel like there's choices. I'm just not 100% sure. Now, spirit is never, we have free will. They can't tell you what to do. They can give you advice and guidance here, but it's up to you to make the choice in the end. But you can ask them to help you with it. Okay, to maybe give you some advice and guidance like they're doing here. So I love the way this is coming coming out for you, Aquarius. Now, the last card, because I said these were going to be short and sweet because of my procrastination. <laughs> uh, getting ready for that trip and uh, not, not spending enough time doing the cards. You know, sometimes things get away from you. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Hang on, two come out there and I just need one. So let's get further advice or guidance. It could be to do with this or it could be totally separate Aquarius, okay? But let's see what they have for further advice or guidance. Whether you're in it or this comes up grounded. Many of the most evolved beings on earth are regular folks living with joy, dignity, and courage. Grounded, okay? This come out in another reading too. This is the, the energy that they want you to use to help you navigate through this. Because over whenever we have choices, what does that mean? We tend to get up in our heads, right? We're using that swords, that air energy. We're up in our head. We're not using our heart and our mind, our ego and our um, our intuition balanced. We're, we're, we tend to get a little up in our head, especially when it comes to choices that need to be made. So they want you to stay grounded. They want you to ground that that air energy, that sword energy, so that you're not just swirling, swirling, so that, you know, 
um, swirling up all the dust so that everything stays calm and settled and you go within and you work with maybe in this case it's Archangel Fanuel to help you with that okay whoops sorry I need to be getting a tarot here wrong deck uh, so they want you to just calm steady Eddie work through it slowly methodically two cards fell out well oh three you know what I feel like I need to look at all of them I'm sorry to anyone else if you came from another another pile or not another pile, another zodiac sign here. Not everyone has three come out and sometimes I put them back. But I feel like I'm just going to say something needs to come to the light here. You need to go within to get that illumination to light up, have spirit light up a, a, an answer for you or a sign for you. And that's what I feel this moon card represents as well. It represents something being brought to light, something coming out of the shadow, okay? Back here with these choices and decisions. Look, we have the Knight of Wands and the Fool. The Fool is the new beginning. And what did we have here? New beginning, okay? That is a new start, a fresh start. And that's what making this choice and maybe retreating back hermiting away will help you do to get that new beginning going <laughs> uh, and that's what the knight of wands is doing as well when i say getting it going that is so a knight of wands because they are all about taking action right they're driven to succeed they're fast moving fast um well fast is in they're they're very active and energetic and enthusiastic and outgoing okay so they want to go after that once they get inspired or um really passionate about something once once it's come to light okay they're like boom let's go uh kind of knight of wands knight of swords energy here even though i have wands i'm still kind of thinking swords energy at the same time it's like let's go and get this done and the the wands knight here is just really excited about it okay so Aquarius, that is your message. I hope that you enjoyed this. It is short and sweet. Again, if you need to go back and look at some other readings, I have playlists in there from way back so you can go back and look. Um, if you're choosing one, there's probably a message in there for you, right? So whatever calls to you. Uh, also, I will be back with uh, new Zodiac Terrascope readings for May. But uh, thank you so much for being here and I'll see you next time.